Hey guys, D-Pad Danny back again, continuing Bubble Month. This time it's Soul Bubbles for the DS. Soul Bubbles, yeah. This was a Toys R Us exclusive in the United States. There's lots of lost souls in the world and they need to be guided into the afterlife. That's where you come in, a novice spirit herder looking to carry on the torch of your ancestors. And hey, maybe carry your ancestors in a bubble. That's right, you have to get seven lost souls through each stage encased in a bubble. This game has a playstyle that's actually pretty similar to Bubble Ghost, which I talked about last week. Check it out if you missed that one. You guide the bubble by sliding the stylus over it in the direction you want it to go. You can hold the stylus there for a more powerful sustained blow, but you'll run out of breath and your face will turn red if you hold it for too long, and you'll have to wait a couple seconds to do it again. There's also stuff that can pop your bubble, like spikes and fire and pesky animals. Unlike in Bubble Ghost, though, this doesn't mean you lose a life. Instead, the souls you are carrying freak out due to the exposure of the outside world, and if they stay exposed for too long, they'll fade away. Great Uncle Brutus, no! If you're quick, you can use your special bird mask to draw bubbles around the escaped souls. As long as you make it to the end of the stage with at least one soul, you'll pass the level and you can move on to the next. In addition to the bird mask, there's also the tiger mask that'll let you slice bubbles into smaller bubbles to help you get them through tighter spots. You can also cut bubbles back together. I don't think it works that way. Lastly, there's an elephant mask that'll let you suck the excess air out of the bubbles to make them as compact as possible. You can use it to pop extra unneeded bubbles as well. Souls aren't the only thing you can put in bubbles. Sometimes you need to grab some water and use it to extinguish flames. There's also these explodey guys that you can set off in front of some walls to blast through to new areas. The music is mostly ambient, nothing super memorable or noteworthy, but it's fitting for the game. The controls are good for the most part, pretty standard for the DS, a lot of tapping and swiping. I think the hardest part to get used to is which D-pad button you hold down to do different things. Left down and right are assigned to the different masks, and up extends the map down from the upper screen, which allows you to travel to any part of the map that you've been to by tapping it. There is some exploration involved, as there's a certain number of stardust available in each stage, in addition to three hidden calabash. They raise your overall grade of the stage by collecting them, but you need a certain amount of calabash to beat the game, so you'll want to especially seek these out. Luckily, your souls will let you know when there's one nearby. There's cavey areas, flamey areas, woodsy areas, and more. Graphically, everything looks nice for the DS. A mix of textured polygons and sprites. Not terrible to look at even today. It's easy to put a lot of time into this one if you're the type to replay a level to collect what you've missed. Soul Bubbles is an interesting game. I've had it for a while, and for some reason or another, I hadn't played it until now, and hey, it's pretty fun. If you have a DS or a 3DS, you may want to check this one out. Well, thanks for watching as always, guys. I'm Deephead Danny, and I will see you next week when we conclude Bubble Month.